March 14th, 2021, the day OLA cut the ribbon and opened up beautiful Affinito Hall. Good morning, everyone. This is a day the Lord has made, isn't it? This has been many years in the making. I think back to, uh, we're so thrilled to have Father Brendan McKeefrey here today because uh, he's the one who kind of started all this back in 07, 08, and it was so clear that he was so clear that the number one priority for OLA was a new parish hall. And at the time, it just was not feasible. Uh, we could raise enough money, and, and thankfully, we were able to raise enough money to redo the school and put a lot of work into the church as well. But the hall had to wait. Well, you can only wait so long, right? right. And so uh, under Father Michael Kierden and then, of course, Father Edwino, we've been able to continue that. And today, the culmination with the opening of this beautiful new hall, Affinito Hall. Let's hear it. Uh, we are here to, uh, to, to dedicate this building, but we, we also know that uh, this building and, and everything that this parish is about uh, w would not be possible were it not that the fact of what, um, um, it, that, uh, what St. Peter says in his letter, that we are living stones, uh, living, living stones building, building up uh, the temple, uh, the temple of God, uh, which is all of us. And that, that uh, as we gather here and we, um, uh, we dedicate uh, this, uh, this place and this uh, expression of your faith and, and of your generosity, uh, this is a chance for us to also acknowledge all that God continues to do through us and for us. And may God continue uh, the good work that he's, he has begun in each one of us. So. Let us pray. God of mercy and truth, you sent your only Son to be our Savior and Lord. He calls us together as his, as his church to carry on the work of salvation. We ask you now to bless us and all who will use this parish hall. May all who come here know the presence of Christ experience the joy of his friendship, and grow always in his love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Congratulations, Thank Father Green. So it is only appropriate today that we are so grateful to have Nancy here, as well as uh, two of her nieces. They have traveled here from... Uh, from Fresno, from down in the valley a little bit, but they came up for the weekend, and we don't want to freeze Nancy here now. So we're going to bring her up and ask her to cut the ribbon on what will, for, for now and forevermore, uh, be known as Affinito Hall. Okay, I'm so happy that you were able to come. Building this hall was very important to me and my husband, Mario. I know it was important to all of you as well. I hope that many people will enjoy this building and for many years to come, I will be with you and hoping that I can be with you every day of my life. And uh, just thank you, thank you, thank you. And God bless you. And God bless all of you.
Okay, we will officially, after years of toil, cut the ribbon on Affinito Hall. Nancy, do us the honors if you would. Nancy, uh, we have a few uh, we have a few gifts for you here. Some of our young cougars are going to bring them up to you here. This building represents the work of so many people, the dedication and the sacrifice of, of so many of you, um, and you're what make, makes this possible, and you're what makes this community so special. So God bless you, thank you, and we hope that you enjoy the new hall. In addition to Nancy, there were many other donors who made this possible. The Lucchetti family, represented by Dave Lucchetti, Alexa De Benedetti, the Lukowitz family, the Malone family, and so many others, all acknowledged on the beautiful new donor wall. Plus, we acknowledge the contributions of Dwayne Johnson, who's been working on this for decades, architect Kevin Wilcox, who donated his time to help design the building, and John Haskell, who oversaw construction. Thanks also to A.P. Thomas Construction, who brought OLA's dreams to life. Today is the day to open the door, so I'm going to ask Father Edwino to open one of the doors. I'm going to ask Champ, the cougar, to open the other doors. Please, come on in and see your new Affinito Hall, would you? The new Affinito Hall is not just a gym, not just a gathering space, it also includes a beautiful new preschool, a stage for the performing arts, and a state-of-the-art kitchen for parish events and to serve our students. But the gym is important because the upper grades of OLA have not played a home game in basketball or volleyball for decades because our facility was simply not adequate. So one of the other major donors to this campaign, this would not have happened without some of these major donors, the Lucchetti family, Pacific Coast Building Products. They've been generous to a lot of projects throughout the city over the last multiple decades. But in this project, they were instrumental. And to honor that donation, 
we wanted to give the Lucchetti family the chance to make the first basket in the new Affinito Hall. We've inquired, Rocco Lucchetti tells me he might be the best basketball player in the family. So, some member of the family has to make this first shot. Who's it gonna be? It's stolen by Stella Lucchetti. I, oh! <laughs> One. Stella, give me an elbow. Excellent job, how about the ball? Because we're gonna give Rocco a chance to make the first free throw in Affinito Hall. There you go, Rocco. Yes! OLA is building for the future. Still one more project that must be completed. On the Walnut side of campus, we need to repurpose the old hall into a youth center. We also need to reconfigure our parking lot and add some spots. You can still help and see your family name added to the OLA donor wall. Thanks to all who gave to this extraordinary campaign and those who will give in the future.